improve literacy skills with paper cups? <laughs> yep. Today, you're going to get five easy prep, fun games that you can do with paper cups in your classroom. And we're going to start from the easiest and go to the hardest. Some of them are very challenging. I can't wait to get started. Let's go. Hi, my name is Angie, and today you are getting five games to do with simple paper cups. Hooray! Let's go ahead and start with the easiest and work to the hardest. Let's go over and find out how to do the first one. Here we go. Okay, the first one is just the matching game, right? We all know how to do a matching game. This one is a little bit different because we're doing it with cups. And I'm just going to go ahead and put these out here for now so that you can see how easy this is to prep. You get some paper cups, you get your black Sharpie, and you write the alphabet. Capital letters, lowercase letters. If you want, you can make the vowels a different red color. You could even mix those up a little bit if that's what your kids want to do. And they go ahead and they just do the matching. Did I get a match? Nope. So I have to flip it back over. They, you would think that I could remember. I was always so bad at matching. How about you? Kids? Kids know. Whoops. I'm cheating. Kids know how to play the matching game. So when they get a match, they get to take it and it becomes theirs. Then the next player goes and so on and fo so forth. You know how to play the matching game, but it's a, just a little bit more fun with cups. So the first game is matching. Are you ready for the second? It's even more fun. Are you ready? Here we go. Okay, the next game is a very simple game. Now today I'm just demonstrating with some of the alphabet, right? Hmm. You're going to want to, depending on their skill level, give them more or less. Oh. The next one is just to simply take the cups and put them in alphabetical order. I would have them separate out the capitals first and then go back and find the lowercase and just keep going like that. Okay, simple and fun. What I love about these games is that you can show them once and they know how to do them independently. I love independent games. As a kindergarten and first grade teacher, you have to have games that they can do by themselves. And it's not going to take 30 seconds for them to do. Like some of those worksheets, right? They're done. No. You need something that's going to keep them occupied and learning for an extended amount of time so you can do the work of being a teacher for other kids around your classroom. And this kind of game and these kind of materials are perfect for that. If you want more independent games, I have another video that I will link up here. Probably some freebies in there too. Speaking of freebies, are you ready for number three? Here we go. All right, here's your freebie printable game that you can do with cups. The link is in the description down below, so make sure you grab that. It's called This to That, and you're going to be building words with three or four uh, letters in each word. Today, we're going to work on three cups, but there is also the four cup version right there, okay? So if I was playing this game, I would use a page protector because I don't know about you, but I like to play games over and over and over and over and over and over. This again is perfect for like an early finisher project or a station center project. You prep it once, you're done for a really long time, all right? So you have a set of alphabet cups and you have your game uh, board right here and a page protector. And you just go ahead and start 
with making a word. And I'm going to go ahead and pull this down. Mm, I am going to go ahead and get rid of my capital letters first because I don't want them to confuse me. <laughs> so I am going to go ahead and build this word. Let's build, uh, let's build mad. So simply they build the word, they write it in there. Now they're going to take one of these letters and they are going to transform. So instead of an M, I am going to use um, H. H A D. Now the good thing about the cups is that they can do something like this, right? They can go mad uh, or let's see, bad would work, cad, mm, does that work? No, no, it has to be a real word, all right? So they make the word had. Now they're going to transform it by substituting out the letter D and let's go ahead and do T and they write the new word over here. All right, they just keep going. Uh, let's separate out the letter uh, H. Get that M back in there for the letter M. And they do mat. All right, they can just keep going. They can separate out the T for a D and make mad but they can use the cups as a manipulative, okay? The reason this is, boy, that is a bad, <laughs> uh, the reason this is a great game is because if you want to, see how this is hard? This is very hard. Yes. Uh, if you have some advanced kindergarten, first graders, even second graders, will find this difficult. Even when I'm talking to you and doing this, uh, I have a hard time building a word and talking at the same time. So it does require some concentration and some work. If you wanna make it even more challenging, take away the cups, all right? For those kids who already have that innate sense of letter and how it all works, take away the cups. It'll give them a little bit extra challenge, all right? So that is game number three. Make sure you get the freebie down below. Get that printable. The fourth game is called Capture the Cup. It's a very simple game. You take your uh, cups, you divide them into, well, if you have two people playing, you divide them into two equal groups. And this is a game you're probably pretty familiar with, but we're using cups instead. So. They put it down on the um, plain spot, and on the count of three, they flip their cups. One, two, three. And so they flip, and if they get the same, it's a draw, all right? So it goes back in their piles, and they draw again, all right? And they say one, two, three, flip. And whichever cup is closest to A, they get to capture the cup and bring it over to their side. They go again. One, two, three, flip. Which one is closest to A? They got the closest to A. They capture the cup. Do you see how that works? One, two, three, flip. Which one is closest to A? They go. Actually, what it would be is this guy would capture this guy and bring it over. Okay, capture the cup. Simple, fun, gives them a real sense of the letter line, alphabetizing, just really working on their letter skills, their letter identification skills too. If you wanted to bring some challenge into it, the student would say the sound as well. Okay, say the letter, say the sound, instead of just identifying it where it is on the letter line. 
All right, so that is game number four. All right, game number five is super simple. It's like building a crossword puzzle or a Scrabble game. Each uh, student gets a group. I would pass out mm, seven to 10 cups per kid and then have a draw pile over here. Let's make a draw pile right here. And they simply take their cups and see, they have to look at them if they can make word, all right? So if they can make a word, they put it down and then the next person goes and they need to play off of um, the letter. Ah, you can't see it. And they lay it down and they play off of the word that was there. So essentially they're building their puzzle right there. So that is the most difficult one because they really need to look at what they have and then build from what is on the table. When they uh, put down one, two, three cups, they draw from the draw pile to get that many back. So if you say you have to have seven cups at all times and they put down three, then they have to draw three more so that they always have some fresh letters to choose from. Okay, so it's kind of like Scrabble, but with cups. Difficult skill, they will love it. All right, there's your five cup games. We started super easy with matching and going all the way down to like a Scrabble slash crossword type activity. It starts off easy, it goes hard. You can see how these little cups are really going to be a fun thing for your classroom. If you want some fancier cups, like I just got these wherever, but there are fancier cups on Amazon. So I do have an affiliate link that I think you might like those cups also. They're down below. Remember an affiliate link means that when you buy something, I get a little commission from that. It doesn't cost you more, but they pay me a little bit. So that is available to you. I hope you liked today's video. Let me know in the comments which game you want to play with your kids tomorrow. And remember, the creator of the universe loves you, and I think you're pretty amazing too. I will talk to you later. Bye-bye.